Hello and welcome to Test Automation Simplified. This is the first video in the series APM tutorial. In this video, we'll see what is APM, APM design. I will also try to answer why to use APM, APM advantages over other test automation tools, and we'll talk about limitations of APM too. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so what is APM? APM is an open source tool for automating native, mobile web and hybrid applications on iOS and Android platform. Now that we know what is APM, let's understand why to use APM too. To answer this, let's first see how APM is compared with other popular mobile test automation tools. As you can see from this table, not all the popular tools are cross-platform. UI Automator and Espresso are backed by Google, however, both these tools only support Android platform, same is the case with Robotium. APM and Calabash support both Android and iOS including hybrid apps for both these platforms. APM also support Firefox OS. As you can see from this table, Calabash supports only one programming language which is Ruby. There is no such limitations with APM. For APM, you can write test cases in almost any language. APM also enjoys wide community support which is something Calabash lacks. So what are the other advantages of APM? We have already seen couple of advantages of APM in previous slides such as cross-platform support and multi-language support. One of the major advantage of APM is that it has common API library for all the platform it supports. What it means, the same code you write for Android app will work for iOS app as long as app implementation is same. Another major advantage APM offers is that you don't need to compile your app to automate it or root your device or add any libraries or framework to your app source code. Hmm. So how does APM manage to provide all these features? To answer this, we need to understand APM design. APM uses Apple's UI Automation and Google's UI Automator testing framework to automate app of their respective platform. So there is no APM specific code to compile. APM meets multi-language requirement by wrapping the vendor provided framework with we just discussed in one API that is WebDriver API. WebDriver specifies a client server protocol which is known as json y protocol. Given this client server architecture, a client written in any language can be used to send appropriate HTTP requests to the server. As you can see from the diagram, APM architecture has three main components, APM client libraries, APM server, and native test libraries. APM receives connections from a client, listens for a command, executes those commands on a mobile device, and responds with HTTP response representing the result of command execution. APM server is written in Node.js. Client libraries are nothing but APM's extension to the WebDriver protocol. Client libraries examples include Java, Ruby, PHP, Chash, and many more. Native test libraries are Google's and Apple's test automation framework provided for Android and iOS respectively. There are two more important concepts you need to understand, session and desired capabilities. Remember. Automation is always performed in the context of session. Client initiate a session with the server in a way specific to each library by sending post-session requests to the server. Desired capabilities are set of keys and values sent to the APM server to tell the server what kind of automation session we are interested in starting up. For example, platform name tells the server which OS platform to use, iOS, Android or Firefox OS. To find out complete list of capabilities, visit Google and search for APM capabilities. Here you can see complete list of APM server capability. Now we know what is APM and advantages of APM, but is APM best tool for the job? Are there any limitations? Well, APM is certainly not perfect. You would see some issues with Gesture or Happy Lab. It does not support low version of Android. In spite of its limitations, I believe it's the best mobile automation tool in the market and it's getting better with every release. Alright, this concludes this chapter. In the next video, we'll see how to download and install APM.